Welcome, and thanks for stopping by. Whether you're new to the channel or have been here before, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Whether you're looking to do some basic maintenance or looking to do some custom modifications, I've seen the question come up many times as to easy ways to remove dive bezels. Unfortunately, I've also seen many uh, situations where cases or bezels have been badly damaged from people trying to use steel items such as uh, case knives or modified uh, butter or steak knives to pop their bezels off. Additionally, it, it is important to be aware of what type of bezel you're taking off. This technique that I'm going to show you here today is pretty easy and relatively safe, but of course exercise caution and get to know your watch before you attempt this. One thing that I do recommend is this, this tends to work the best or is the safest on steel bezels as opposed to aluminum uh, bezels. This particular one has a ceramic insert in it, so you want to be cautious of that. Those can be brittle. Uh, however, uh, this, uh, this technique I've used many times before and works very easily. So the first thing that I would do is just take the case and you're going to want to find what position you want to enter in from. So with that, depending on your case design, you want to look to see where it looks like you can get the easiest access and leverage. So on this particular watch, I like to go in directly between the lugs off of the case. So what I'm going to do is just to help to add further protection, I'm just going to put a little piece of tape right there to protect the case. Next, I'm going to take another piece, and this is just basic masking tape. And I'm actually going to do the same thing, but apply this just across the bezel itself. And then up a little bit onto the crystal. And then finally, just for added measure, I like to take a piece and actually tape across both of those. And just to push my thumbnail down in so I can see where that recess is but still add a little more protection. So you can see what I did there. Next, all I do is I take, and this is just a microfiber cloth, so that gives you your cushioning there for setting your watch on to apply a little bit of pressure. And I use this tool. This is actually an auto body tool, and I'll put a link in the description where you can find a similar tool on, uh, on Amazon. These are very inexpensive and this is made out of an ABS which is a hard uh, hard plastic. So I find this to be a little safer than, than working with metal materials. But at the same time you do still want to be cautious and that's why I recommend adding the, uh, the masking tape. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to line up with that bezel and I'm just going to apply inward pressure and you can see just like that as we remove the tape here that was actually enough that it popped the bezel up. Most bezels it doesn't require much to remove they're just a press fit on there and you can see safely removed there no marks on the bezel itself and the case was completely protected we still have the tape there so no marks on the case either. And now we've exposed if we had a bad spring or needed to change the spring, wanted to add or apply any grease, if we were changing out and going with an aftermarket or custom bezel insert, that's all already set up. So then to put that back on, all you do is just line this back up, get it wiggled into place there, and now you can see it's free spinning. It's not popped down, but we have everything lined up thing that's important is you want to make sure that the spring is still in place and this does have teeth typically that will catch the case. You want to make sure that that's lined up, that it's sitting flat there. After we've done that, just put that into place, get everything lined up, and you're not going to want to jam this. You just want to let it naturally kind of fall into place and it'll pop. And now you can see this unidirectional bezel Perfect movement, snicking nicely through, everything still lines up, no extra back play, and that's all there is to it. 
So of course, every watch has, as I mentioned, does vary. So you wanna make sure that you know your watch. This process is obviously applicable to uh, specifically dive bezels, uh, so not fixed bezels. Some watches might be a little harder than others. This particular um, Zellos, as with, uh, with many other watches, is relatively easy if you're using the proper technique. So I hope this helps you and keeps, uh, keeps your cases intact, as well as keeps you from uh, breaking your bezel inserts. Thank you and have a great day.